I couldn't face your aunt for a few days after Evan finally told me and Preston the truth. I reasoned that I didn't want to surprise her with yet another thing, since we all know how she feels about surprises. But that wasn't really the truth. The truth was I just was plain afraid to repeat what your dad had said to me in Preston. Your dad and I are more like our own dad, your grandfather, that neither of us would ever admit. He was an expert at waiting until the last microsecond to decide to finally be honest with someone. I don't know about Evan, but sometimes I find myself wishing to be more like Preston. Then I come to my senses. Anyhow, the time had come for me to quit waiting to tell Trish about everything and to just get it over with. Really, I owed her more than the truth about your dad, but I had to start somewhere. So Trish, you, uh, you, you know how we were thinking Evan might be wanting to sell the family well, farm. Yes. Uh, there's more to it. He, okay, he just told me in Preston that he is sick, like really sick. And he needs the funds uh, for to pay the bills, to make sure he can make it. Oh. And there's more. So uh, this this trip here, I, I know he always does. He's always impromptu, but he he's seeing if Lindsay, if Lindsay could stay with us if anything happened. And so we talked it all out, uh, me, him, me, and Preston, and, well, he, he's definitely staying through the holidays. And we're going to take it day by day after that. Oh, Bobby. This is one of the hardest things we've been asked to do in our years together. But I trust you, and I trust the Lord, and if this is what he's asking us to do, then we'll do it. Trish is one of the greatest joys in my life. Her ability to shift from filled with stress to overflowing with compassion because of her trust in the Lord is always an inspiration for me. I wasn't being facetious when I said she was the real hero of this story. Still, she and I had both been taught lessons, albeit with very different curriculum, about a tangible peace and joy that comes from placing our faith and hope in the Lord. Neither of us would be able to anticipate every trial or tribulation real life would put us through. But there is joy inside the actual waiting on God to do what He does. After all, it's quite literally His love that makes this world go round. Okay, this card says, You lost a beauty contest. Move back three spaces. (laughs) Chris, you married the Poindexter. (laughs) You know, it really is nice to have you guys here. It's been too long since we've done something like this all together. I love you guys. You always bring a bunch of surprises with you, but I've missed being able to see you two. Yeah, when you think about it, the most valuable thing any of us have is time. And when you invest it in each other and trust in the Lord, no matter how much time goes by, we'll always be rich in love with each other. Hmm. Well, that's what Gabriel told me. (laughs) Who's Gabriel? I'll tell you later. (laughs) All right, uh, Bobby, you still got to move back three space. I'm just telling you the rules. You can't take his turn. I was hoping you wouldn't notice. So there we were. The entire Fallow family would be sleeping under our one little roof with one week remaining until Christmas. Trish would have her hands full, 
But interestingly, it wasn't going to be because of me, your dad, or your delightfully weird Uncle Preston. No, unfortunately for Trish, there was one more surprise waiting for her. Apparently, our happy home had yet to actually burst at its seams. Well, honey, it looks like we were able to pull off this makeshift family Christmas reunion. I guess it's not that bad, having all our family under one roof. <laughs> no matter how long it took us to get reconnected, God brought us all together at exactly the right time. And I'm just glad we don't have to worry about any more surprises. Yeah. <laughs>